Advocates hope to rally supporters who favor Sunday package sales of alcohol. State Senate Republican leaders continue to catch grief for killing the Sunday liquor sales bill in private. The debate is over booze. Should alcohol be sold on Sunday? Some say, let the voters decide. Oh, yo, look, we're fighting the power. We're up here on the Capitol steps. Craziness. The Washington side. And it's about just being able to buy a damn brew on a Sunday or wine or whatever your fix is. Ale Sharp. That's everybody. it, baby. Yeah, right. here he is. We got to get you right here. Represent. That's it. Let me vote on the local option. Here it is. I don't know how much I'm in the camera I'm supposed to be, but I'm just glad to be hey, here. You're one of the, he's one up. of the ones making sure this is happening today. So what do you think is going to happen, man? Look at it. This beautiful thing going on right now. Well, it's just great to see a bunch of people here uh, involved in their government, whether they're for or against Senate Bill 10. It is just a remarkable thing to witness people coming together to tell the state legislature what they think and what they feel and hopefully bring about the change that they want. We have a voice in our government, and it is great to be able to use it. This is all about letting the people decide. No matter how you feel about this issue on a personal or maybe moral level, we can all agree that the people should have the right to vote. What the issue here is, is about democracy. It's letting the people make the decision that they want for their community. Nobody has to buy anything on Sunday. You don't have to buy beer, you don't have to buy socks, you don't have to do anything. But we should be able to make that choice. It's Wednesday, the rally started right at noon, and it's about Sunday sales. And it's not just about drinking and all those types of things. On Sunday, it's also just having the right to vote, be it your individual communities, your counties, whatever the case may be. And right now, they're being very hypocritical of the Constitution, which is the freedom of speech and the right for the people to vote. So it's been very political, but it's also people just want to get their sip on on Sundays. I do believe that we have a segment of our society, particularly in the South, particularly in Georgia, mm -hmm. that believes that because their religion demands that uh, they act, operate or act a certain way on a particular day, they want to impose their, their values on everyone else. And certainly that was not what was, was had in mind by our forefathers when our form of government was put together. That's it, brother. I give God the glory. Oh, that's every everyday thing. You get yeah. down like that all the time. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah everyday. Just sharp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything. The hat. Everything. Everything. You match the Yeah, from top to bottom. You got to get the kicks. Perfect, 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 perfect. Right, right, right. That's right. God. That, that's God's color. Perfect. I'm a Christian man. I've been in Baptist law all my life. And, you know, I, I want to give us local control over something like this. Uh, so that way we can decide if we want right. to do this. Don't you have some respect or compassion for God? Yes. Everybody does, but they have they have the respect and compassion for God on every day. It's not just on Sundays. Well, that's all I have to say about it. In other words, I mean, alcohol is all right in its place. We still want the option to, to be able to say, yes, we want this, right, right. rather than, you know, letting people from far down parts of the state decide, you know, if this is something that we want. See, that's a great point, and I'm glad you said that. You know, um, it's it's about communities. Let, let your county judge, at least, or vote mm -hmm. for what they want, instead of just judging for the whole, the whole state. Why well, add uh, uh, more misery, you mm -hmm. know? It's just about choice, though, to be able to vote for that. If those communities believe in what you're saying, which is a valid point, then let that community not do that, you know what I mean? But you can't tell everybody what you know yeah. what to think. That's it's, it's unfair. I, I, I would I would hope that the lawmakers said no would mean no forever. You know, you can go all the way back to the 14% alcohol law that was passed and, and what progress that made for us and look at the difference in, in us now and the beer community and the economy, I mean, it's just bursting, you know. Well, the situation, you know, today actually wasn't so much about alcohol as it is the people's right to, to be involved. You know, the, the people that work in the Capitol, you know, they, they have a responsibility to us to, to allow us to have our voice heard. Sure. And, um, you know, one, once that passes, which I, I feel pretty certain it will, you know, now that there's some good, some good press behind it, and thank you. Get that too. buzz going. Definitely. That's it. 
we're going to have to step it up, and that's one reason why Georgians for World Class Beer is being revived. Prophet Love is sharp. You can't, you can't hit on that. Brother is sharp. You know, but he had his opinion. We can't hit on that. Just one person's opinion, though. Let everybody choose for your different communities or counties. I mean, and he said, I hope it never passes. I'm like, damn, and I was waiting for some more valid points to why, but, you know, that's his thing. Enough respect to, to Prophet Love. Hopefully he'll spread more love and open up a little bit. And if not, don't drink on Sunday, but give us a choice for that.